a dry erase marker, typically used on a dry erase board. Have you ever wanted to actually be able to draw on a whiteboard while you're live streaming or even in a video because that's just sometimes the way you need to demonstrate something? Well, my friends, I've got a way where you can use a whiteboard app on your tablet and display it on screen during your live video. Hey, how's it going? My name's Melanie Diane Howe, and I am super excited to share with you this honestly fairly easy way that you can actually display a whiteboard on screen. Now, I know I like to sometimes draw charts and draw diagrams. I know I get a lot of people that ask me, Mel, is there a way to virtually draw on a whiteboard while I'm on live video? And today I'm gonna show you how to do this using an application called Reflector 4. So this works on a Mac or a PC. It is not a free application just to get that out of the gate. You do have to download it. I'm sure there are alternatives to this application, but I like stable apps. This is one that I have found that works really, really great. So I'm gonna show you how to use this app to display that whiteboard. Now, first things first, you're gonna wanna download Reflector 4. I've included a link to where you can actually download this application. Now, again, you have to pay for it in order to be able to use this. And once you open it, you are going to see this on your screen. This is actually the name of my computer. It's just a Dell G5. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like over on the actual tablet computer. So if we go over to our tablet, you're gonna wanna be in your area where you can do screen mirroring. Now, this is gonna be different on Android devices. I am currently on an Apple iPad. So right now I'm just gonna select screen mirroring and you're gonna notice that the name of my computer is going to show up. I'm gonna select that and then over on our screen, we're actually gonna be given a code momentarily. Now, this is a setting that you can change if you don't wanna deal with this inside Reflector 4, but it's really just a security setting. Now, back over on the iPad, it's gonna be prompting me to enter that code. So we're gonna enter the code just like that, we're gonna select OK. And then back over on the computer, we're gonna wait. And as you're gonna see here, it's actually going to pop up on screen. It actually popped up on my other monitor and there we are. And now you can see, we see the exact same thing that we see over on the actual iPad. Now, once I deselect that and we go back over, you're gonna notice that we are now clear. Now, here's where the fun begins. You can. This is just a whiteboard app. You can start to draw on here, and as you can see, it's going to actually display it on that iPad that's mirrored over on that other monitor. So this is way fun. This is where you get to actually share your screen, draw whatever you wanna draw, use it in Zoom, use it in your live streaming application. Personally, I use StreamYard, and I'll show that to you next. And here we are inside of the StreamYard studio, which is just one example of a place where you can share your screen. This is a live video application that is my go-to application I absolutely love. You can share your screen, it's really easy. In fact, you can even change views. You can go solo mode with that shared screen. You can go back to yourself, but back on screen. So here we are, I have my iPad right in front of me. I'm using the Reflector 4. I can change it, I can do all kinds of stuff. I could even draw a marketing funnel and talk about marketing and how all these people at the bottom of your funnel are sending people to the top of your funnel and do a visual representation of what I'm describing. So here's a perfect example of how you can use a whiteboard in your live videos. Now, one other thing that's actually really cool about that Reflector 4 application is, is it also works for your phone. So if you're ever feeling like you need to do a tutorial about how to show something on your phone or even a tutorial about how to do something on a tablet, that is a great way for you to actually record a video of the digital interface of your phone or the tablet. So I know I've used it before when I do some tutorial videos on how to do certain things with your phone or your tablet, especially with live video or even applications. So there's a lot of really cool things you can use for for it, teaching tools. You can also use it and turn on the video camera <laughs> and have the video camera open on your phone and have that displayed on screen. And you can literally use it as another way to have a second video on screen for your Zoom calls or again, of course, your live video. So definitely a super fun thing you can do. As I said, I use StreamYard. I share my screen. I use that Reflector 4 application and that's how I can display my iPad on screen to use a whiteboard or even other applications.
Well, and there you have it. So now you know how to use a whiteboard application to draw pictures, to demonstrate things, to whatever visuals you want to do. You can also use it, as you can imagine, to scroll through photos and, as I said, share videos. So Reflector 4, go check it out. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss upcoming videos as well as my weekly live videos.